Hey, what's up, everybody? What's good? I'm Joe. You're watching Matsu Excel, and today I want to talk to my new creators, my beginning creators, those who may have have like the basics of basics, and are looking for the next upgrade. You start looking at what is the best option to upgrade. Do I get a new lens? Do I get a new body? Do I get a new phone? Right? But I want to talk about what people seem to always forget about, and that's the microphone. The microphone is probably one of the best upgrades that you could do in the beginning of your journey. One of the biggest questions you should always ask is, if I upgrade now, will it work for me in the next three to five years? Because honestly, money and all that's tight. When you make a purchase, you make an upgrade, you wanna make sure you're getting your most value for it, right? Okay, 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 you're probably asking, what do you mean a microphone? Why should I start there? Why should I just like maybe get a camera because I'm using my phone? Or why don't I just get a new lens? Or oh, I should get that really expensive body. Sony just came out with blah, blah, blah. Look, video will carry you so far, right? But audio is one of the most important upgrades in your content creation journey. And that's why I want to talk to you about this little guy here, the Rode Wireless Go 2. This video is not sponsored by Rode at all. I'm just talking to you from a user standpoint. And I've gone through a bunch of different microphones, probably like you've started to or started looking at, you don't know where to start. And I want to tell you why. This right here is gonna be your best bang of your buck for the future. Check this out. Back in 2018, USC and the Australian National University also did a study, right? Where they found that people watching videos found that even though they're professional people talking who have years of experience in an industry, they felt like they couldn't believe what they were saying because of how bad the audio quality was. They didn't trust, they didn't trust these experts in the field because their audio sounded like shit. You could rely on the built-in mic on your phone or your camera, but at the end of the day, they will not be as good as using an external microphone. You just get so much more clarity, you get so much, better capabilities that even with all this AI advancement, internal mics just don't cut it. Rode video mics will always continue to be my go-to and here's why I think you will really like this mic. So the Rode video mic go-to is what I like to call it, kind of like the younger brother of the NTG. Rode just always has a sweet spot with just how crisp the audio is, plus the different features that you can pull out with something like this. One of the cool features that you'll love about the shotgun mic itself is the fact that it's a super cardioid omnidirectional mic. And if you are a music nerd, nerd! or an audio engineer nerd, you know what super cardioid means. But look, for my people who are not are coming up. So what it means is it'll pick up audio from 90 degrees to 270 degrees. So anything in the back here, it's gonna pick up a little bit, but definitely not as much. It's gonna be really faint, especially if I'm talking to it behind it or from the sides. But when it starts pointing at you as a creator, it's gonna pick you up a lot better. And this is gonna help you in those really big areas or sceneries where if you have traffic or a lot of road noise or any kind of like, you know, music, stuff like that, this is definitely gonna be a much lower volume and more um, easier to manipulate than this. So you're not gonna hear the street noise. You'll hear it as much, but the microphone itself really does focus on what's in front of you, not what's behind you, right? So if I were to say, hey, here I am, standing outside his busy street, you're gonna hear the street more than you hear me. Now, what can you do with this with USB-C? You could connect this with your phone or your computer, and that's where it really unlocks the power of Rode. When you're able to plug in something like this into your phone and now be able to record high quality audio, again, it just combines that you can start out making higher quality content, and then later on when you decide to get a new camera, this could work with it just the same. And this message is brought to you by Matsu Excel. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more tech tips like this. Now, back to the video. Also, because it, you can connect it to the Rode Central app, you get options like padding, you get options like high uh, frequency shelving and stuff like that, where these are features that a normal cheap microphone just can't get you, especially on a mobile device. And that's gonna help you in so many different scenarios where 
on a phone, you can't necessarily control the gain on like, let's say a camera, right? Like I can put this on my Z30 and I, or my Z6 and I can control the gain of the mic itself. But on the phone, you can. However, when you use in conjunction with that app, now you can actually have a padding or lower the gain of it. So if you're in a high volume environment, you, it gives you the option to really help nullify that sound. Normally, if you can't control it, your audio is gonna clip and it's going to distort. But when you use the padding option, you can adjust the sensitivity and you can allow it to capture that moment without messing up your audio. Now, a cool little hidden feature about this mic that Rode did tell us about, but not everybody remembers. This little shoe mount, right? This cold shoe mount can slide over. And the nice thing is if you pair it with something like the Rode Wireless Go 2 or any kind of cold shoe mountable wireless mic system, you can actually just slide it in like this. And then you can connect the audio, you know, from the shotgun mic into the wireless um, receiver or transmitter. And now you could turn this shotgun mic, which was normally an external cold shoe mountable mic into a full on like audio demon, you know, wireless boom mic. So you can have a second person arming it and it could be crazy. Like I can actually have a boom operator go into like this, like, hey, get this boom mic out of here, man. Hey. Can you like get the mic? Thank you. Thank you. Like get out my shot. Yeah, there's a second person here helping me record this. Can't you see them? It's not, yeah, I, I, I know it's me. The Rode mic, being able to connect to your phone just gives you the ultimate beginning content creator setup in your pocket. When you're beginning, you're just getting into it, you're, you're finally starting to invest in yourself, you wanna look at what's called ROI, your return on investment. Is buying a $3,000 camera when I'm barely building my audience the right move, but if I could spend $100 and upgrade my audio quality and have multiple uses for it that could last me at least three to five years, that by far, a hundred dollar investment is definitely better than a two to five thousand dollar investment, especially when you begin. And that's a tip that I've learned that I think you will definitely value more than anything else. So, what are your thoughts? Tell me, do you think this is the mic for you? Do you think this is a good upgrade to begin with? Let me know in your comments and just any questions you have with it. And also, just what do you think? I really want to know your take on what you think is the right tool or right investment, especially as a beginning or a newer creator. And if you got this far and you don't have any suggestions, leave a like, leave, you know what? Last time I talked about pizza, I like to know if you're making a hamburger, what kind of cheese do you use? Leave that in the comments. Are you an American guy, a Swiss lady? Are you a jalapeno cheddar? Are you a two cheese or are you a no cheese? Yeah, that's a good question. Leave it, let me know. It helps engage, look, any comments I get helps engagement. It helps people who are looking for content like this be able to find it because the algorithm will push it up. So as always, I'm Joe. This has been Matsu XO. I appreciate you guys being here. Till next time, peace.